Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you best tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A7 here. So I already did a lot of videos on this device, you know, some comparison and other stuff. You can check that out on my channel. Now let's just start off with the uh, tip number one. And uh, so, yeah, first is that when you first uh, boot this device up, you will see the, um, the Flipboard ver uh, briefing or you can say, you know, you'll see some news type stuff. So... Uh, so that is pretty annoying for a lot of people so so I'm gonna show you how to disable that so you need to hold down the screen and then click on the home screen settings and you'll see this option here called as flipboard briefing you need to untick it and then you will no longer see that flipboard you know annoying you so yeah, let's move to the tip number uh, two. Now the tip number two here is that you can take a palm selfie using your front camera. Now, how is it possible? Well, I'm going to just show you here. So, this works actually when you are taking the selfie. Like, let's just do it like this. So it has to focus and now it's taking the selfie. And you can see, you just have to hold the phone like this and show your hand and then we're going to take the selfie and just make sure that you have the right amount of distance so yeah this works really fine now another tip for you guys is that how to change the the font on your device if I go into the settings and then display and wallpaper and you can see the option here called as font and I can change the font style and I can also change the font size from large to extra large to medium so this is really great for those people who have having some problem with their eyes so you can they can use the um, large extra large text size now also another feature that I want to show you guys is that the, another tip for you guys is that if you hold down the screen and you click on the themes you will see different themes here it's five themes you can just click on any theme that you like this is the Samsung basic theme you can just pick that up and click apply and you will see that theme being applied and you can see you will see different type of icons and some other different experience so that is really great and moving on to the next tip is if you go into the settings and then you go into the power saving mode you can enable the dis uh, battery percentage here a lot of people don't know to find this option of Samsung had you know hidden this option here so you can display the battery percentage and the next tip for you guys is how to enable the ultra power saving mode now remember enable the ultra power saving mode before you know the dropping the battery less than 5% so make sure your battery is around above 5% almost above 10% that will be really good so uh, if you are away from your home and you are having like almost this battery 26 person and you know that you will not be in home for about a couple of hours so you can just go into the quick setting area and you can switch on this option called as ultra power saving mode and this will definitely going to increase your uh, usage you can see that 3.0 days of estimated times so that it's really great so moving on to the next tip you can have a quick uh, change in terms of the lock screen effect if you go here into the settings and then if you click on the lock screen here you'll find the option here to call which is called as unlock effect and here you can change the unlock effect like geometry mosaic popping colors or watercolor if I save it and you will see that this cool watercolor effect so and also another tip for you guys is how to disable the camera shortcut you know uh, when you have a passcode on the screen uh, yes uh, your friends will not going to uh, um, unlock your device they will not going to be able to unlock your device but definitely they will they can launch the camera from that quick shortcut so if you don't want that here in the lock screen option you will see a camera shortcut button you just have to untick it and do not show again and you can see that we don't have any camera uh, shortcut option now another tip that I want to give you guys is the palm swipe to capture the screenshot which works really great so that's what I'm gonna just show you here One, two, three. you can see that you just have to swipe your hand 
right across the screen and it will capture uh, the photo for you guys and let's move on to the other tip here is how to unlock the developer option now go into the about device and click on the build number a couple of times until you see the option of developer mode unlocked and I've already done that so you can see that it is telling me that no need developer mode already enabled and you can see if I go into the developer options and uh, you can see a lot of stuff there so yeah another tip for you guys is uh, how to make this galaxy uh, a 7 you know a little bit more faster uh, I made a video about how to fix that home button lag so it is the similar stuff you can also check that video out but here in this uh, section you can just have to you know uh, just turn off or you know put the animation to a little bit more uh, you know slower number here or actually faster number from 1x to 0.5x your device will definitely going to feel more faster you will feel more faster with your device because when you press this home key it will respond really fast so that is really great and moving on to the next tip is the if you go into the settings and then if you go into the let's say if you go into the display options display and wallpaper option you'll see an option here which is called the screen mode which is basically a good thing because uh, by default it is on adaptive display but if you have any problem with co with the colors you can change it and you can see how the contrast and everything changes in the photo you can also use the basic which is it looks a little bit dull but I will pre prefer the adaptive display you can also see that it is uh, this mode automatically optimizes the color range for this app so it's really great for conserving the battery and uh, speaking of the battery another tip for you guys is how to have more battery out of your phone and so for that go into sounds and disable uh, some other sounds that you don't want like sound when tapped, vibrate when tapped and then also uh, switch off this haptic feedback and switch off these options you will definitely going to get more battery and another tip for you guys is how to change the vibration intensity here you can if you go into the sound option then vibration intensity by default you can see it is set to this much vibration so that is really strong so you need to lower it down to almost this point and at this point you will definitely going to notice your phone when it will going to vibrate in your pocket without destroying your leg so moving down to another tip is how to transfer your Galaxy A7 into download mode for that hold down the power key and the home key and the volume down key at the same time for a couple of times like this way and this will definitely going to uh, transfer your device into download mode and another tip for you guys is how to enter your device into recovery mode now you have to do a little bit different procedure and basically same but you have to hold the volume up button this time to transfer your device into recovery mode and now in recovery mode you can do a lot of crazy stuff you can just wipe your data uh, you, know, you can do a wipe data factory reset and stuff like that so moving on to the next tip and which is going to be the touch sensitivity you can actually use your device while wearing gloves this is basically for those people who are living in a pretty cold um, environment so if you go into the display and wallpaper option on the bottom of the screen you will notice an option here called as increased touch sensitivity and when you turn it on you can use your device using the gloves uh, you know with wearing the gloves and and the last tip here for you guys is how to have fun with the one-handed operation if you have small hands you can use this feature for good so go into display and wallpaper and check out this option called as one-handed operation and you can just switch it on like if you swipe uh, uh, from the screen like this this way it will going to enable that for example I'm going to just turn it on and you can see this is now enable the one-handed operation I can use the device without any problem it's like a mini mini phone now you can see this part is now kinda like disabled and you can see that I can also increase the volume I don't have to reach my hand on the top 
and when I'm done with this mode here all I need to do is press this button and now the screen is back to its normal size so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video here these are my best 15 plus tips and tricks for the Galaxy S7 I have already did a video on other phones like Galaxy E7 and E5 and yeah hopefully if you enjoyed this one you will also going to enjoy that video also so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed it and give this video a warm thumbs up subscribe and I will see you in the next one.